I'm Congressman Dennis Kucinich. We've learned about still another problem at the ill-fated davis Bessey nuclear power plant in Northwest Ohio. The containment vessel, that's the concrete protective wall which surrounds the reactor, turned up with a 30-foot vertical crack. Now, the crack could have been caused by the effects of construction to put in a new reactor head after the first two reactor heads had cracks, one nearly precipitating a meltdown, or the latest crack may have existed for a while because after all, the plant's now 33 years old. A 30-foot vertical crack in the containment vessel at a nuclear power plant in Ohio. For each crack in the exterior that becomes visible, others are likely to lurk beneath the surface. We've seen it before at davis Bessey. The first cracks in the reactor head caused a leak of corrosive liquid that nearly created a disastrous breach. The people of the Great Lakes region, including Ohio, have been lucky the cracks were eventually made public despite efforts by First Energy to impede investigations. Davis Bessey is an aging reactor. It has all kinds of problems. Davis Bessey's license will expire in seven years. For the sake of wringing every dollar of profit out of Davis Bessey, First Energy wants to keep the reactor operating until 2037. It's not possible for First Energy or the Nuclear Regulatory Commission to know of every crack and every leak that currently exists or may exist in the future. As the reactor ages, those cracks and leaks are likely to multiply. And like today, the repairs to correct those problems may cause additional problems. At what point does the reactor become too old to repair? At what point do we say the risks of operating this aging reactor are too great? After Fukushima, why should the people of Ohio accept any risk? Isn't it time to choose public safety over private profits?